Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is address resolution protocol, or ARP. What's ARP, and why do we need ARP? ARP is a protocol for mapping an IP address to a physical MAC address on a local area network. Basically. ARP is a program used by a computer to find another computer's MAC address based on its IP address. Well, you may say I get it, but why do we need MAC address? The reason is simple: any local communications would use MAC address, not IP address. When a computer wants to communicate with another computer on a different network, IP address would be used. IP address is like your mailing address, while MAC address is like your name. When I talk to a student Baba in my classroom, I do not use his mailing address. Instead, I simply use. His name, Baba, to communicate. On a TCP/IP network, every computer is assigned IP address, and some local servers' IP addresses are also given to a network client. This is a snapshot of my Windows command prompt when I type in ipconfig/all. You can see some local service IP addresses are given to my computer, like my default gateway, and is a IP address. My DHCP server and its IP address, two local DNS servers, and their IP addresses. But their MAC addresses are not displayed. If my computer wants to talk to them, I would need their MAC addresses. Then ARP is used. You may ask, how often your computer use ARP? Chances are, every time you use your computer. Let me use an example to demonstrate how ARP works. Here is the scenario. On a local area network, a client computer tries to contact a server. Here we are talking about communications between two computers on the same broadcast domain, means local area network. First, the client checks its ARP cache, a table of IP addresses with their Corresponding MAC addresses. To view a Windows computer's ARP table, enter the command line ARP-A, and you can see your computer's ARP table similar to mine. The first column is IP address. The second column is corresponding MAC address. ARP engine is either static. Or dynamic. Static ARP entry is manually added to the ARP cache table. Dynamic entries are what ARP program gets. They stay there until the ARP cache timeout has expired. Suppose no entry is found for the server, the client computer will use ARP. This is a broadcast message. To the local network that says, "Who has the IP address so and so, and what's your MAC address?" When the server hears the broadcast, and then responds, "Yes, I have that IP address, and here is my MAC address." Now let's see the whole process step by step. Step one. The client sends a broadcast message because the destination MAC address is a broadcast address. 
basically is 12 Fs. Simply saying, hello, anyone with IP address 192.168.1.50, if you hear me, would you please give your MAC address? And here's my IP address and MAC address. When other devices hear the broadcast message, they would discard the ARP packet silently. Step 2. When the server hears the message, it sends a unicast message, not a broadcast, to the client because the destination IP address and MAC address belong to the client. Step 3. The client gets the server's MAC address and it then sends the server a request. At the same time, the client updates ARP cache table for the future reference. In summary, 1. ARP is a layer 2 protocol that uses a layer 3 IP address to find layer 2 MAC address. 2. ARP operates only on a local area network or the same broadcast domain because ARP relies on broadcasting. 3. ARP uses and updates ARP table. Before I conclude this video, I want to point out some people say ARP is a layer 3 protocol because ARP involves layer 3 IP address. Some people say since ARP uses layer 3 IP to get layer 2 MAC address, then it should belong to 2.5 layer of the OSI model. What do you think? Please feel free to leave your questions below. I will reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you very much and see you next time.